Even now, the nights still terrify me. Not the darkness or the solitude, but the quiet. I can still remember that sickening, dead silence. with that cart. If they can't hear this rickety old thing a mile away, then God help them. Let me get that for you. I'm the one who's old and blind. 
October usually brings cool days and frost on the pumpkin, but not here in the valley, where the heat wave is breaking records. The thermometer could reach 94 late Stop this it. afternoon. How's the when most radiation woman in the store doing? Oldest, more like. Better watch out for that one. Stay cool. Who is that? Oh, uh, my second or third grade teacher. Oh, okay. I don't know, whatever she taught, I probably failed it. All right, well, let's just get out of here before you bump into anybody from work. What, you don't think they bought my on death's doorstep voice? Yeah, well, I think the smell of sunscreen might give it away. The lake on a work day was your idea. Chances there will ever be an earthquake in this valley, or there will be a Beatles reunion in the near future. Sunny days and I'll rainy hang on, hang on. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. The There's a greater chance of the Fab Four <laughs> alive and dead, and dead, <laughs> all getting back together and singing Yellow Submarine than there isn't anything seismically interesting going on around here. Ethan, you actually want to get caught in an earthquake? No, I actually want to do something worthwhile in my career. I'm fixing a bunch of seismic gear in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> It's not my idea of scientific career advancement. Ah. Meanwhile, I've got an assistant. No, who, uh, no. The professor said I was to assist you. I'm not your assistant. Well, officially, I'm Alan's <laughs> assistant. So uh, today he asked you to assist me, thereby making you ipso facto, ergo sum, the assistant's assistant. Such a meager existence. Especially when all we're doing is confirming no. that there will never be an earthquake in this valley. Never? Ever. Well, I'm just here for the paycheck. And besides, I'm thinking of becoming a singer. What do you think? No! Is this? This is ironic. Oh. Are you OK? Oh, damn it. We're here, Alan. Can you believe this? Warren, yes. Very unexpected, to be sure. Uh, Al Alan, Alan, I think I got a transmitting just before it started. You should be receiving data from us now. I am. That was some luck. Look, get back here right away. I'm triangulating the epicenter now, and we need to investigate ASAP. Okay. So, uh, sounds good. Over and out. <sighs> over and out. Over and out. Oh. <sighs> Houston, we have a problem. Shocks, maybe? Been coming here since I was a kid. Never heard of any earthquakes. I've never been in an earthquake. How strong do you think it was? On the Richter scale? No idea. It seemed pretty weak. supposed to be all sorts of caves down there. But the earthquake opened one up. Oh, unless, do you think this is one of those giant super volcanoes like in Yellowstone? That seems unlikely. I hope not. Yeah, because that would suck. Totally. This is awesome. <laughs> you can still go swimming if you're hot. In the super volcano lake? Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
We should, we should get the hell out of here. Yeah. How is this happening? I'm not sure yet. Certainly, um, I'm not sure. Maybe we missed something. What happened to your head? Oh, when we we're fixing the... Page, Page is pissed. Page is always pissed. Ooh. Sorry. What should we be pissed about anyway? It's not like it's our fault. No, but seriously, it, this isn't one of our normal... All right, no, um, Paige, last week I suggested to her that she could let the board know that we were 95% sure we'd be approving CO2 sequestration site B. Well, the timing kind of sucks. There's like, what, 0% chance now? <laughs> I know. Page rang only a few seconds after the quake started. Oh yeah? How's she taking it? Well, you can find out for yourself. Our conversation was cut off almost immediately. Landlines were knocked out. And of course, that mobile she's always nursing doesn't work in the valley, so I'd wager she's already on her way here now. Okay, Paige's feelings on this whole thing aside, Alan, what's going on? Right, uh... No, we've been able to get a rough idea of the epicenter, and it seems to be one of the dormant, or not so dormant, fault lines under Lake Cavernous. Lauren confirmed that the underwater caverns there descend deep into the basalt rock we've been studying beneath the lake. And as this imaging suggests, the fault lines seem to pass right through them. How did this happen? You just said that you were ready to give a green light to Site B being geologically inactive. Who messed up? How can a dormant fault line suddenly reactivate? I don't know yet, but the first step in finding out is getting you into those caves. Noah, assist Lauren with whatever she needs, and what? We'll... Alan, what the hell is going on? Apparently I made an ass of myself last week telling the board we were in the clear. Do you know how stupid this is? Yeah, Paige, he said 95% sure, not 100. Nice look, Ethan. I think you should keep it. I am not taking the fall for this. You're getting in my car, we're driving back, and explaining to the board what the hell is going on. I cannot leave right now. They're ready to fire all of us. Okay, um, Ethan knows about as much as I do at this point. Ethan can go with you. Whoa, wait a sec, Alan. Ethan, Alan, Alan, Ethan Alan. can go with you. He'll explain the status. I need to be here right now. All right, Ethan, let's go. Guess they're not going out anymore, huh? Let's go. We're going to corporate or the plant? Everyone's at the plant. They've been there non-stop since last week when I made an ass of myself. So yeah, we're going down to the plant. So what was the vibe down there after the quake? They're not seriously blaming you, are they? Are they? Ethan, how about we just get there, okay? Tanks. Regulators? Uh-huh. Is there tape and hot batteries in the camera? Define hot. I'll make sure. I'll go inside and get the tapes. Well, we're not going that way. What's the plan now? Look, if we can't make it in, I really need to get back to Elf Mountain. It's a very critical time for Okay. Me. Okay. We have to get there. We're walking. Is that a request? Guess not. Look, Paige, if we're gonna go down there, you need to know I'm not gonna be sugarcoating this whole thing. This is bad. Active fault lines means no geologic CO2 sequestration. That's your three years field experience talking? No, Paige, I know about this stuff. The whole point of carbon sequestration is to keep carbon emissions out of the atmosphere, right? I mean, you capture the CO2 from the smokestacks, combine it with water, and inject it deep into the ground. In this case, we've, um, uh... Um what? 
Uh, um, been searching for basalt rock, which pretty much soaks it up like a sponge. Gee, even. I guess if I'm for a energy company, I'll know all that. Paige, I'm just trying... You always talk down at me. Okay, I'm sorry. What I'm getting at is they can't bury carbon dioxide in an earthquake zone. Ethan, it was just one quake, a fluke. Alan said himself those fault lines have been dormant for a millennia. Hey, I was convinced about the stability of Site A2, and I have no idea how the earthquake occurred. I mean, you can pretty much rule out human causes. Human causes? For an earthquake? Well, the injection location at Site A, it's just... It's nowhere near the epicenter at Site B. There, there really couldn't have been any lubrication. Lubrication? Ethan, what are you talking about? Well, there's only been a few cases, but sometimes pumping fluid in the ground seems to have kind of like lubricated fault lines, you know, which of course can cause an earthquake, but that's just been in cases where the fluid's actually being injected near the fault lines themselves. Not applicable here because Site A, where Bremish is now sequestering, it's just, it's nowhere near the epicenter in Site B. The point, Ethan. What's your point? The point is, the whole reason for burying carbon dioxide is to keep carbon emissions out of the atmosphere, to slow climate change, right? Well, if this area is geologically active, which it certainly apparently seems to be, there's no guarantee the CO2 wouldn't just leak right back up through fissures or shifting water tables or who knows what else, making the whole burying part pointless. No stable geology, no carbon sequestration. Yeah, we should get moving. Why don't you let me take care of that and you can get into your wetsuit. Right. This is practically empty. No, you were supposed to fill the tanks last weekend. I did. Then why is it empty? Hello, maybe it leaked out? God, Noah. Come on, you guys, you hired me to update your computers, and now it's all, Noah, take out the trash. Noah, get the okay, gear. Okay, Noah, fill the tanks. It. Put it in the back seat this time, that way you won't forget it. Hold on. Oh, shit! Are they okay? They look like they just dropped dead. Their skin color looks like hypoxia, asphyxiation maybe, but there are no marks on the neck or anything. Isn't it supposed to bruise if you get strangled? I, I, I don't know, but we should get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we, we should get the cops. So listen, about what happened is it? What, Ethan? What do you want to say to me that you haven't already? I can't deal with this now. Let's just get down there and you can tell them their entire company's out of business and we'll never have to see each other again. What? Strangled from the inside out is what it felt like. What are we gonna do? It could be some sort of gas released from the quake. There's a good chance that's what killed the people down at the lake. Oh, shit. Maybe we were just lucky and 
it had dissipated or the wind changed direction before yeah, we yeah, got yeah. there. Well, well, whatever it is, I say screw the cops, let's get the hell out of here. Hold on, if it is a gas, we don't know where it's coming from or where it's going to. We could drive right into it. Although it did seem to be getting worse as we went downhill. Right, so let's turn our asses around and get back up there. No, no, you're right. It's at least a decent theory. Oh, not now. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. Okay. Okay, we just have to keep going ahead into town. <laughs> oh, what do you mean into town? That's probably where all the shit's going we down. We have to. No way. All right, listen. If the lake area was toxic before, there's a good chance it could be toxic again, even right now. We have to pass through that area to get back up to the lab. We don't have enough air. It's too far. This little bit left, 10, 15 minutes maybe, it wouldn't last. We need air. But we, we, we Listen, gotta get- Listen, Noah, you know I'm right. I'm gonna try the lab on the radio. Welcome to your first day at Brimish Corporation. Excited? Yes, sir. I'm sure this is That's a great match. That's excellent, Paige. Uh, you don't mind if I call you Paige, do you? Of course. I did some checking on you, and I must say, your former employer speaks very highly of you. Thank you, sir. Well, Bob and I go way back. Let me be blunt with you, Paige. Now, Bob indicated to me that you're bright, and you have the ability to get things done. But what I really need is someone who can make the difficult decisions when called upon. And I assure you, there will be difficult choices to be made. So what I need to know is, are you up to the task? Do you have what it takes? I appreciate your frankness, sir, and I assure you, I do. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Mary, will you send Chris in, please? Now, you're going to be working with Chris Baker. Chris will uh, show you around and get you situated. Chris is a very good man, but he lacks, I don't know, uh, the eye of the tiger. I'm hoping he can learn something from you. Sir, you wanted to see me? Uh, yes, Chris. Be a good man and show her to her office, will you? Oh, and Paige, remember, I'm expecting big things from you. You won't be disappointed, sir. Couldn't get the lab on the radio, to be honest, anyone. This could be really bad. The lab's probably just out of range, though. Can I try your cell phone? No surprise there. I don't even know why you carry this thing in the valley. I'm thinking I should go to see if anyone's, um, anyone's alive. You want to stay here? No. No. I'll come. I should go too. No, you don't have to, Paige. I'm going.
Where's the driver? Let's keep moving. It's so quiet. Not even the birds. This is fucked up. Do you think it hit the town yet? Outside. Can we go get mom now? What if she's scared? Maybe. Stay here. I gotta go talk to grandpa. Oh, fuck, this is taking forever. I don't remember how far it is. You don't talk. This is barely leaking anything out. Save your breath. Mm -hmm. All right. We're getting pretty close. If you start smelling anything like a sulfur smell like um like rotten eggs you need to let me know why what's wrong with sulfur it's just a theory if you, if you smell it just let me know i never thought i was smart enough to understand anything like you're just like oh you would understand anyhow so just tell the expert if you smell whatever <sighs> i'm sorry <laughs> Even I feel it too. What do we do? Maybe a cloud or something. Higher ground. Higher ground.
going on? Before the sulfur thing, I was thinking uh, hydrogen sulfide might have been what had killed everyone. What are you saying? It's the poison gas? Where would it come from? It's, uh, it's, it's really not uncommon with CCS. I mean, have you ever wondered why they always make you park facing the plant exit and have your windows rolled up? I always wondered about that. It's, um, that's a uh, protocol. That sites where CO2 is being pumped underground. Uh, now, uh, H2 is a, it's a waste product from the bacteria that break down the carbon dioxide. Uh, occasionally, some of the hydrogen sulfide will find its way back up to the surface. Pretty nasty stuff. It's invisible, almost instantly deadly, and highly explosive. Anyway, that's why I thought might have hit us down there, but whatever it was, it wasn't hydrogen sulfide. No sulfur smell, plus we're still alive. What then? I don't know. But I know who will. We need to get back to the lab. I'm sorry, I always forget. What time did you get back to camp that night? Uh, I didn't. That's right. <laughs> he camped out all night down there with nothing but a water bottle and a flashlight. No, oh, and the USB drive. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I must say that uh, even though these site tests are mandated by the government, given the expertise in the room and the frank nature of the discussion, I'm sure it's going to be a pleasure working with you as you keep Grimish Corporation in compliance. So, Ms. Weiss has made all the arrangements for your stay, so she'll be showing you the way. We'll talk soon. Doctor? Yes, sir. Nice meeting you. It's Ethan, right? Yes, Bradley. Great. Uh, Chris, may I speak with you for a moment? Sure. It's not to worry. It's not to worry. Here I am. Since you have it. Mm -hmm. Okay with that? Thank you. Great. Paige, thank you for all your help today. You're welcome. I'm beat. Good night. Good night, Alan. Well, um, it's really great meeting you, Paige. Uh, really look forward to working with you. Me too. Okay, well, good night. You know, things are so crazy today with you guys coming in. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Uh, yeah, me neither. Um, I'd love to get something to eat. Is, is there anywhere open this late? I might know one place. Is it, uh, is it worth checking out? Maybe. Lauren, come in. Lauren? Lauren, if you can hear me, I want you to take some samples from the lake water itself. Just a theory. I tried the phones. There's nothing. The power's out too. Is this the harness he wanted? I think this thing's almost out. Is this all we're taking, is these three? It's a hell of a lot more than we had an hour ago, and it's enough. Look, all right, I, I know I forgot to fill the tanks, and I'm just the gopher around here. No, no, that's not what I meant. I just meant we're in good shape. Hey, I think we should have a double on this one anyway. I think there's one in the back. Will you get it for me? Noah. I'm glad you're here with me. I'd be freaking out if it were just me.
What are you doing? I can't see a thing back here. Noah, you can't light anything without oxygen in the air. So what do we do now? Straight back to the lab. Hopefully the professor can tell us what the hell's going on. Ty, go pack your bag and wait for me by the door. Are we going yet, Mom? Yeah. I just gotta talk to Grandpa first. Coming up, British Corporation is going green. CEO Don Miles announces 50 new green collar job opportunities at a local job fair. Find out how you can apply. Mom, here's coffee. The news was broadcasting the Burmish Corp is um, opening new jobs. I was thinking about applying. What do you think, Greg? I think we've had this discussion before. I know, but it would bring in more money, and God knows that we need we it. I need you here. Your dad needs you. Besides, Ty would miss you. I don't mind, Dad. Oh, I do. Please, Greg, I really want to do this. Ty, go get ready for school. I don't feel good, Mom. Maybe he should stay home today. He's faking it. Go get ready. It's okay, honey. You know I hate to say no to you. But I hate to say no twice even more. It undermines my authority with time. We can't have that. This on. Come on. For mom. What about grandpa? We're coming back for grandpa. Let's get mom. Oh, it's Whoa! I have oxygen. Is are this you, right? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I have oxygen. He needs to breathe. breathe. Is this right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, oxygen. Oxygen seems to stop whatever it is. Tight. <sighs> 
Who are you and what the hell is going on here? Just, just follow us and we'll explain on the way. Yeah? Oh. Do you want me to drive? No, I'm okay. Do you really think the professor's gonna know what's happening? We'll see. Probably keep that window shut in case we pass through another cloud of that gas. I will. I just need to have some air for a bit. Seriously, Paige, it's not safe. We could drive right into it. We'd have no warning. that right-hand turn a bit ago. That will take us longer, and we're low on gas. We don't have any other choice. How many are dead? We don't know. There are a couple at the lake, and a few on the way here. Shit, we thought everybody until you showed up. Whatever it is, it seems like it's heading toward town like a tidal wave. We didn't see Main Street, though. There may be some others like you two. Hold up, but I don't know. The clock's ticking. Most of those buildings looked as leaky as green porches. Do you know what happened? How did you survive? Hey, kid, why don't you come over here? I don't know. My house is pretty sealed up. My dad, he's his asthma. Nancy, my wife, she went off to work and, and it was just a few hours later when people were dropping in their tracks right in the streets and it was, how much further is this? Can we take the truck? No bueno, big guy. No oxygen, no internal combustion engine. We're walking. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me, are we out of gas? No, we should still have enough. What the hell are we gonna do? What if that poison's out there? Wait, hold on, hold on, I'm thinking. Hey, that's Lauren's truck. So where's Lauren? That's the turn we need to take. Should we walk? How are we going to test the air? Ethan? I'll check it. How? What? How? Yes? You know how you've been giving me such a hard time about my work schedule? I'm not giving you a hard time, you just work so much. Well... I have all of tonight off. All night? And tomorrow. Got a love close to me that's hide from the rain. I never felt warmer than I do today. Shield my eyes from the lightning and cover my ears. Your voice. 
And the next day? We'll see. <laughs>
Alan. Ah, Lauren, sorry, I nodded off. Pouring over these stimulating streams of raw data. Um, I'm afraid I have more questions than answers at this point. These aftershocks, uncharacteristic to say the least, given the geology here. You look like hell. Have you heard back from Ethan yet? Is he okay? No. He was gonna call after the meeting. What? What's happened? Second. What? The car stalling. The car stalling wasn't just bad luck, it's because the same gas is poisoned the air. This isn't some exotic toxic gas. Paige, I don't think we can breathe because the valley is filling with carbon dioxide. Everyone in town is dead. When you say everyone, you couldn't possibly have It's everyone me. enough. All right, go over it again with me. You drove to town. After we saw the bodies at the lake. No, please. I'm trying to put a timeline together. He'll know what to do. start heading out of this valley to go get help. With the phones down and no transportation, whatever this is, it's coming from town. Lauren, we can't just react like, if we don't understand what's happening, you might be jumping out of the pot and into the fire, you know? All right, all right. We left for town to tell the cops about the bodies. We started driving and that's when we stalled out. Where exactly? Uh, that steep hill about a quarter mile away from the lake pull off. You stalled at the bottom or near the top? Alan! Lauren, please. We were just about at the bottom. I, I know you want to figure this out, but I have to get going if we're going to be Lauren, able to- Lauren, I think I know what's going on. And if I'm right, it's not just the town we need to worry about. It's the whole valley. So then this is just a huge pool of CO2? <sighs> yes. From where? It's the CO2 the coal fire plant's been burying underground. The earthquake must have released it somehow. I don't know how exactly, or hell, it could have even ruptured the above ground liquefied CO2 tanks. You know, the ones you guys stored in before you pump it underground. See, pure CO2 is denser, it's heavier than the surrounding air. So what's happening is it's just displacing all the air in the valley, filling it from the bottom up. Okay, it's CO2 escaping, it's filling the valley. Yes. How does this make our situation suck any less? Paige, we stopped coming down the hill. At the top of the hill, the engine was still running. That means it was burning both gas and oxygen, okay? An hour ago, there was combustible, breathable air at the top. That's not that far. All right, so the scuba tank you used to get up here, how many hours would you estimate are left in them? All of them? Enough for one person to get out of the valley. I'm sorry, I thought that you would be safe here until I could come back with help. Well, what if we divided that by the three of us? With a little luck, that should be just about enough to get us back to the dive shop and pick up more tanks. Then we should be able to get up to the ranger station. And with a little bit of luck, there should be some air up there and we can contact help from one of the ranger towers. That's a great idea, except for one small problem. No, that's too far. Hey, Paige, that is our only chance. Nobody's gonna come to save us. If we're gonna get out of here, we need to do this. Okay, here's the situation. CO2 is filling this valley, and every breathing creature in it is going to be dead by nightfall. We need to get out of here, and to do that, we need more oxygen. So, before we have a chance of getting out of the valley, we have to go back to the dive shop and get whatever filled tanks are left there. But, Lauren's indicated that there may only be a few we can use. So you should know, even with the tanks, this is going to be very risky. Wait, I know where there's more of these. My wife, she's a hospice nurse. The lady she cares for, she's on oxygen. 
Yeah, but how much? We're gonna need a lot if we're all gonna get out of here. Well, she's up in the hills. Really rough road over there. They don't even plow in the winter. She'll have plenty stocked up. I'm sure of it. Sounds like we have our second destination. Okay, Noah, gather up all the tanks we have. How heavy are these? Jesus. We're gonna need to conserve energy, so no heavy backpacks. But everyone grab water inside. I don't want anyone getting dehydrated. We're leaving in five minutes. Alan. What about Ethan? They were headed down to the plant. Ethan's smart. We have to hope he's figured this out on his own. And we're headed in his direction anyhow, so if he's okay, we'll... Well, we can only hope. Don't run, but not a walk either. All right, exhale. Keep pressing. Mind if I join you? Mr. Edwards, uh, sure. Thank you. Can I you? Um, no, no, thank you. I never liked the food here. Sir? Well, you look very nice today. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? Well, Paige, you know we're under a lot of pressure to start pumping over at Site B. Of course. And I'm afraid that the science team is taking their own sweet time about this study. So while I hate to put you in this position, because I know this is really Chris's job. What? Well, I'm gonna have to ask you to see what you can do to move this study forward. But I don't... You asked me to just keep you informed of their work, Mr. Edwards. Chris is supposed to... I don't see how I could help speed things up. Well, Chris mentioned that you and, I believe his name is Ethan. Well, he mentioned that you might be able to exert a certain influence there. With all due respect, sir, I don't think that's any of your or Chris's business. Miss Weiss, everything that goes on in this company is my business. Now, when I hired you, you assured me that you could do what was required. Yes, but Mr. Was Edwards. all that just talk to impress me? Now, you listen very carefully to me, Miss Weiss. We need to start sequestering at Site B immediately. There's an enormous amount of pressure on that. We're almost maxed out at Site A, which you know. And if we max out there, then we can't sequester. And if we can't sequester, we're going to have to pay through the nose for carbon credits. Either that, or stop burning coal entirely. Until this, this overdue study is done. Many people are going to lose their jobs. Do you understand me? Sir, I... I... I don't want you to, to get the wrong impression here. It's just that you've been working very closely with these people. You know them very well. You've been working here for six months with them. All I want you to do is see how things stand. Maybe there's something you can do to, I don't know, help them out. Maybe you can find out when approval is coming. Maybe help them along. We could even get a preliminary report and, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's later. You understand what I'm saying? Can you do that? Yeah, I suppose I could. 
Good, that's the girl I hired. You're gonna go far in this company, bitch. Make this happen. We should keep moving. Where are we headed? I don't know yet. You've been really good with Ty. I never thought you and kids would be anything but a disaster. Great. Well, the old woman there. Uh, when we get there, how much do you know about her condition? She's got pretty severe asthma. Kind of like everybody, everybody else in this town. Coal smoke, I guess. What are you asking? What I'm asking is, do you think she's ambulatory? Can she be moved? We need to think about this before we get there. It's possible that there are going to be some hard decisions. Oh, finally. Finally what? Finally our luck's changed. Alan! Ethan! Stay there. We'll come to you. You made it. Here. It's CO2, isn't it? The blowback from the sequestration site? Yeah, I think so. How? I'm not sure yet. Doesn't make much sense. Even if the quake is responsible, which it almost certainly is, it's so far away from site A. It, yeah, I don't see how it could just... <laughs> hey, forget about that for now. It's great to see you. How did you make it back? I was just saying I'm glad I never took up smoking. <laughs> Where are we headed? Dive shop. All right, the air's not so bad here, so everyone can serve your oxygen. Breathe this. What are you doing? Back off! It's the air. You need this. Are you okay? Come on. What's your name? Ashley. What's going on? Breathe. We're not totally sure what's happening yet. If there's something in the air, it's sucking the oxygen out. Oh, I was driving and I felt so tired. It's all right. You'll be okay with us. We're gonna go to the mountains. In any event, you're very fortunate to still be alive. If you had your windows open or left the car's vents running, well, you're okay. Right. Let's get moving. It's okay. Breathe. Come on, it's all right. Thanks for noticing me back there. You know, I thought you were dead. When you woke up, I nearly jumped out of my skin. It's not every day that you see a dead person wake up. Still, I'm glad you stopped to notice me. Well, I do make it a habit to stare at beautiful women. Thank you. Alan. Alan, when you did your calculations, there were only five of us. I know.
Remember, guys, try not to breathe through your noses. Um, when we finish the study, um, I should be able to get some time off, and I was really thinking it'd be nice for us to go somewhere. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Paige, are you even listening? You've been so distant today, are you okay? Okay, I need a favor. Yeah, anything. I've been getting some pressure at work to... They need to know what things are looking like on approval for Site B, when they can start pumping. They're just pressing me. That's stupid. What good is pressuring you going to do? Is there anything you guys could do so I can... Chris was saying if it's, it's headed towards a green light, maybe if they knew, they could start making preparations ahead of time. Like what? Start sequestering early? No. I don't know. Maybe you can lean on Alan a bit. He's... What's going on here, Paige? Nothing. Never mind. No, wait. Is that what all this has been about? Fuck. All this. You're trying to influence the study through me. No, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, hon, I always knew getting to the top was so important to you. Let me just ask, how many guys are you gonna fuck to get there? Oh, yeah, you can start the waterworks now. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Goodbye, Ethan.
can't stop. We have to keep moving. Orn. Listen, we don't even have enough air for the eight of us as it is. We can't take anyone else. Help, over here. Ethan, get them moving. We're here. We can't do this! Yes, you can! Come on, move! by the door. I just gotta talk to Grandpa first. Lady, I'm sorry. The air is getting a little better here. You don't need the tanks as much. Still feel it. It's better, not perfect. Hey, it's Lake Cavernous. Why is it steaming? Wait a second. Of course, it's coming from the lake. The CO2 is all from the lake. The underwater fissures, they run straight down to the basalt. What, what do you mean? Like, all this gas has just been hiding down there? This happened before. 
Cameroon, the mid 80s, a lake released a giant flood of carbon dioxide. The whole town was flooded. There's no CO2 down there. We'd have seen it. In Cameroon, there was a volcano. There was a huge natural underground deposit. There's nothing like that here. Ethan. I think I know. C Chris and Bradley, they, they told me about that there was a meeting. You know, Paige, you're going places in this company. You know that, don't you? You're smart. You understand what it takes to get to the top. But more importantly, you know how to play in this arena. That's why I told them, if this should ever come out, it can't fall on us. I stood up for us in that room and I said that- What are you talking about? So of course, my position is you can't just alter procedure on a 1044A form. Somebody's gonna catch wise. And what about the interdepartmental records, you know? What are we talking about? What are they gonna be doing that's gonna be such a paperwork mess? That's the thing. Edwards told me tonight. They already started pumping CO2 into Site B. Based on my report that Alan's likely to give a green light? You didn't tell me that anyone was gonna act on this, Chris. You said preparations, not pumping. They're worried about having to pay for carbon credits. I can't even imagine what kind of fines they're gonna pay if people find out about this. This is illegal. How are they gonna hide this? How long have they been pumping? How much is down there? A lot. He said they were under pressure. Look, you and me, this shit can't fall on us. This is upper management. As long as nobody finds out, everything will be okay. And we'll be okay. No, Chris. We won't. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I, I didn't know anything would happen. I just, I thought they were bending the rules. I didn't think. It, it looks like a giant hot tub. It's being carbonated. More like a giant soda can. And we shook it up. <laughs> you bitch. Hey! We have to keep moving. Across it? Not really. It's like 10 or 12 miles and then back. Oh, this section of the bridge is still intact. We can cross here. No way we can get the car across that. Everyone check their tanks. We're only gonna take the fullest ones. This one's almost out. I'm not going.
not so bad. You have to. You'll be okay. See? Ethan and Laura made it just fine. You're even lighter than them. Noah, let them watch you. Why don't you show them how it's done? No offense. Noah's just a scary thing. I'll show you. Step at a time. You see that? That's almost as wide as the diving board at school. Okay, Tyler. Okay, look at me, sweetie. Your dad and I are gonna take you across, okay? And you're not going to fall. Just keep looking at me. Alan didn't know how crumbly the cement was. We do. We're gonna be much more careful. I got your tag, let's go. I'm gonna go back and get Ashley. We'll find another way around. We'll meet up with you. Noah, Ashley is dead, and you know that. Even if she were alive, you wouldn't have enough air for the two of you. If you go that way, you're dead. You're wrong. She's alive. We'll find another way around. Noah, please. Sorry. I can't. He hasn't lost it. He's afraid of heights. Noah! God damn it! What are you gonna do? 
He's walking You're to his death. You're gonna drag him all the way back here? How are you gonna force him across? So what, we just let him die? You can't- Ethan! You can't save everyone. I'm sorry. Greg, we're running low on air. How much farther to the house? I know where I'm going. What the fuck is your problem? Fuck off. Guys, don't be idiots. We're running low on air, and you're wasting it. Keep moving. She didn't know what was going on. How can you blame her? You think you're the only one who's lost today? She knew she could have said something. Anything. I've lost. Everyone in the town has lost. It's time she knew what it feels like. <laughs> Without thinking of us. What's more, Ty will know what you did. He'll know every time he looks at you. Is that what you really want? At least he'll be alive. 
alive. Drop the oxygen. It's over. It's over. Oh my god. You want my tank? Come and get it. Come on, Ty, it's all right. Stop! That means we need to get out of here right now. The hydrogen sulfide should be burned off for a moment. We need to make a run for it now. Don't breathe the hydrogen sulfide. Any of it. Help me up. Damn it. There's no air left in here. We just have to make do with what we've got. Come on. No. do now. This looks like as good a candidate as any. Situation. One man seriously injured and a child. Uh, we are in Ranger Tower number 423. Repeat 423. Please respond. It's getting worse. Watch him. Shit. Maybe you need to say over and out a few times. The charger is disconnected. I have to wait till morning. Hopefully the sun comes up. That's fine. It's fine. It's just as well. I need, I need to rest. Paige. I'm glad you're here with me. It's so nice to just be here with you and, and breathe. <laughs> the breathing, I'm sure. <laughs> it's so easy to take the small things for granted.
Lauren, the radio. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. We are survivors from the valley. We're stranded, one man wounded, two women and a child. We need immediate evacuation. Is anyone hearing this? Over. Copy your mayday. What is your location and condition of wounded? Yes, yes, uh, one man wounded, a child and two women. Over. Copy that. One man wounded, two women and a child. Please confirm. Please confirm. Come back. Uh, no, wait. No wounded. Two women and a child. We are at Ranger Tower 423. Over. Copy that, Ranger Tower 423. A chopper has a visual of your location now. Hold your position. Over and out. Over and out. Only 27 people survived the carbon flood. Not the rich or the powerful, just everyday people. They holed up, sealed in, and prayed for the winds to blow it all away. There were the novelty survivors, of course, the ones that grabbed the headlines, the octogenarian and her dozen cats, the prepper that held out in his sealed greenhouse fallout shelter. One man drove right out of town in his electric car. Of course, the singular child to escape the valley was bound to capture the nation's attention, and that's what I did. That's what I was. More so for the fate of my... my mother. Almost 500 children suffocated that morning, in schools, in daycare, in their mother's arms. Every last one but me. And the people looked to me to find solace, to see meaning. What meaning that was depended upon who you asked. But for certain, one thing can be said. Things truly changed the day our carbon flowed back out of the earth. The country, the, the world saw things differently. No, we didn't stop entirely and certainly not right away. But we did begin to see that we needed to be smarter. We needed to consider our actions and accept our responsibility. We needed to... We resolved to find a better way. Kiss the back of my neck 
sky turns gray. Kiss the bird.